Hello and welcome to the 3DS Max Fundamentals class brought to you by 3DBuzz.com. I'm Buzz. And I'm Zach, and you guys are in for the single most comprehensive most thoroughly put together, longest, most amazing, I could go on, uh, 3DS Max training you've ever seen. 20 more adjectives, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, <laughs> actually, I'm out for now. Actually, by the end of these videos, we will have redefined the word fundamentals. I don't know if redefined is a, a really good term. I think we've mocked the term fundamentals. Perhaps, but we will accomplish the goal that we're setting out to do as of right now, and that is to give our viewers a solid foundation in 3DS Max. No, nah, I don't want to mislead people. This is just like every other training <laughs> uh, video that has ever been put together, except it's every other training video riding down the road on a Harley Davidson oh, at 214 no. miles an hour on fire being chased by Apache helicopters with mini guns and rockets and a trip to Mars. Okay, I'll have to say that's uh, close, but not exactly what I was looking for. No, really, this is... Because the helicopters are on fire. This is indeed the most comprehensive 3DS Max course available anywhere on planet Earth. We are going to take you from being a complete noob, a complete beginner to the world of modeling and animation and lighting, texturing, rendering, etc., yeah. even programming. Right. And we're going to turn you guys into proficient animators. I mean, it's Absolutely. Probably, by the end, you guys are going to have... A solid understanding of using 3ds max and you'll find yourself able to produce some pretty sophisticated projects with ease you know if you take what we show you throughout the next hundred and ten hours or so that's correct and uh, and you apply it you're gonna find that you will be ready to create virtually anything you can imagine now a little bit about the class now yeah. that we've rambled on. First thing, you'll find that all of the instruction provided, there most of the time will be two people mm -hmm. involved. One person will serve kind of as a secondary instructor slash a student, sure. throwing in extra commentary that helps make points very clear. And to keep the person who's talking from getting lonely. That's <laughs> right, because that's never a good thing. Now, most of the time it's going to be two people, and our two primary instructors are going to be Mr. Zach Parrish himself. Good evening. And Mr. Mr. William Castellano, also known as Bill, and Bill will be joining us in the very next video. Yeah, not with us right now, but he's on the way. And from time to time, I will be jumping in as well. So, lecture is presented in a very casual way. Though this there is casual? Is, yes, it is. Okay. Though there is a lot of educational material presented. We're going to use whiteboards. We're going to obviously, obviously use the 3DS Max application. <laughs> and surprisingly enough, we're going to be using Photoshop quite a bit when we get into Project 2 and a bunch of texturing. And on that note, uh, yeah, you will be getting a full introduction to uh, texturing as far as UV layouts. You'll be painting your own textures. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, you will. That's right. <laughs> uh, but we're going to introduce you to the world of Adobe Photoshop as if you have never actually seen or used the application before. And if you don't own it, not a problem. You can head on over to adobe.com and you can download their 30-day free trial. Yep. And then use that, follow along with the videos, and, well, really gain a solid understanding of how Photoshop works. Absolutely. And if for some reason you don't want to follow along with the Photoshop videos, you're just here for the max bit. Everything that has been done in Photoshop has been supplied to you in PSD format, which you can bring into max. We've also got the Targas available. That's so right. they're, they're on your DVDs, so just grab those. If you don't want to uh, like actually do any of the texturing, it's already there. We've no, handed it over. That's right. Project 1, 2, and 3, all texture references have been rard. They've mm -hmm. been compressed, and you will need to unrar those to your hard drive because it's pretty big. It's close to a gig worth of data. I just you, wanted to point that out. That's right, and you will need WinRAR to open those up, so head over to rarlab.com and That's that. right. Now, uh, another thing that we need to uh, go ahead and point out, and that is there is a README mm -hmm. file on DVD number one. Please make it a point to read that file. That file will help make it clear as to the structure of all of these videos, because you guys are now dealing with hundreds of videos in order to get through this entire program. Yeah, this is, this is not like a sit down and kind of casually click on the occasional video bit. This is very structured. And that's how we need you to approach it. Now, I know they're probably getting a little bored right now, so let's take just a second and show them the three projects okay. that they're going to be doing. Project number one. Let's uh, call it up, and uh, actually, we'll go ahead and it's on its way. Let me bring it, it over comes. into this monitor, and here we go. Go and ahead. let's hit play. It starts off simple. Yeah, very simple. And it ends 
simple. That's it. I mean, that is the <laughs> whole first project. We've got a little bouncing ball who comes in, curtains open up, he comes out on the stage door, boing, 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 and there you go. Now, this project is just intended to walk you through things like the 3DS Max interface, to get you used to the idea of keyframe animation, to lighting, to texturing, a little bit of basic well, you modeling. You're going to start out with some basic modeling, yep. constructing your set, and then from there you're going to go into applying textures and materials so that you've basically painted your scene, mm -hmm. and then from there you're going to start adding in digital lights to provide illumination and shadows. From there, you're going to animate your object so that your curtains come to life, the ball itself comes to life as it kicks its way through the door. And then finally, we're going to end up rendering it all out so that you have a movie that you mm -hmm. can show back to your friends and family. Now, that's a very simple project. So if you're sitting there looking at that going, well, you know, but there's, I want to learn how to do ama amazing things, you know, that's right, which we're going to show those amazing oh, yeah. things. I just wanted to show. Oh, I, wasn't even, sure. I just wanted to say, even though it is a simple project, it covers all of the basic concepts. Again, the basic foundation of creating an animated project. Yeah, really. From uh, start to finish. Actually, you could look at it that way, that everything we cover for the rest of the class is all derived from right here. That's right. But now, as Zach was about to say, as yeah. he's getting more and more excited, let's go ahead and close that one out. Now, our next project, things get a lot more serious. Yeah, we kind of raise the stakes, and we go from a, a cute little bouncing ball to Top Gun 2. <laughs> yeah, here we go. So, yeah, we have an aircraft carrier somewhere out in a classified location with two F-14 Tomcats as one of them launches from the deck. There's some steam on there's the catapult steam, there. There's effects. There's all this special camera work showing you how to zoom in and out, focus control, camera cuts here. Yeah. Ooh, we have a target we're going to destroy also love, at a I secure location. Text. And yep. here comes our whoom, camera, shake. camera shake. Oh, yeah, you can feel the power. And again, a lot of animation going on with the cameras in this particular project. Lots of subtle animation going on. Oh, here you go, some constraint animation right there. Our missiles. I keep wanting to do sound effects. A lot of effects, once again. Shh, boom! Quick explosion, uh, and then our two jets rocket through the scene right over the camera. And so there you go. this one's a lot more involved. Now, you guys are going to be doing all of it. Mm -hmm. We're not going to hand you the models and say, alright, now just line these up and animate them. It's not going to work that no, way. No, that's like most of uh, this, the other this tutorials. This particular project's what, close to 50 hours? I think. I've actually forgotten the number already. I think it's really... I blacked out. It's, it's at 50 hours, maybe even a little bit above 50 hours, but yeah. right around the 50 hour mark where we start out with basic storyboards explaining here is what the project consists of. This is what we want to achieve by the end. Right. And then we, we construct it. Everything. You guys will model out the aircraft carrier. You're going to model out a simpler version of the aircraft carrier that you can do animatics with. Mm -hmm. You're going to model out simpler <laughs> you're gonna learn. You're going to learn what animatics are. <laughs> yeah, true. Good point. You're going to model out the, uh, the full-fledged detailed F-14 yeah. Tomcats. You're going to model out the oil rig. You're going to light all of this. You're going to texture all of this. Yeah, uh, there's a good one. You're going to hand paint all of these textures that you see here on the F-14. Now, we'll provide if you, you textures. Yeah, if you want to. So if you want to, you yeah. don't have to. Okay, I'll put it this way. <laughs> you'll know everything you'll need to know to hand paint all of these textures. That's right. Now, all of the effects... You're going to do all yep. of those as well. The, the fire, fire, the steam earlier. You know, even back at the beginning of the animation, the wake that's coming out of our boat right there. The, uh, um, all of this stuff. we got the, the light glowing the up here. The text on the screen the that text, you saw yeah, a second the, ago. The list just goes on and on with all of the things that you see here that are kind of subtle. you got the blur on the camera as we zoom out. The, we here, kind of flash forward a little bit. You're going to the Zoic Studio moment, huh? I love it, man. <laughs> I totally love yeah, it. And right then here, here you go. Double blur, and we drop the missile, and... For those of you that are Battlestar Galactica fans, the new series. Yep. And, kablam, you're going to do the whole explosion effect. Everything that you see here is going to be done by your hands with our guidance. Now, of course, all of this is very... Hmm. Mechanical, if you will, regards to, to animation. Look at it. You're primarily animating solid objects. So, Project 3, we're going to up the stakes a little bit more. Mm -hmm. We're going to get into the world of character animation. That's, That's right. right. We are going to show you guys how to model a character, how to rig a character. We're going to show you how to skin a character. I know for some of you guys, I may be saying some pretty fancy words. Don't worry, you're going to become experts at this stuff. That's right. We're then going to show you how, once again, to create animatics for your story based off of your story. Boards. You're then going to learn how to do character animation, bring your character to life, give them emotion, and tell a story. And in this particular 
in this particular story yeah. or project. Here's the story. Hit play. Well, I got a little okay. dragon character here you've seen on the side of the screen, and it's his birthday. It's his right? birthday, man. He walks up. He's gonna blow the uh, the candle out. Now he does have a mouth. You just can't see it. Yeah, it's up under that schnoz. Yeah, big schnoz. He's trying to blow the candle out. You notice the candle kind of wavers. So he's gonna blow a little harder, a little. And Jump. The waver's a little harder. Now watch what happens here. Big blow. Watch that cake. Boom. Oh, melts the cake. Burning ambers. Yeah, some smoke. smoke coming up here. All sorts of things going on, but primarily revolving around a character who's moving through a scene. So you've got a lot of different things that you have to learn just to get to this point where you're no longer uh, animating you know, single object, like a ball bouncing right. or an F-14, which is pretty much a single object. True. Moving around in a scene. No, you've got all these different parts of a character because... Uh, I don't want to get too far into a lecture right now, but moving a character is a lot like moving a puppet. Right. You know, you have to, you know, you have to move the foot, move the hand, move the head. You do all the work. Oh, but we make it even more interesting, though. Even it's a funda- even though it's a fundamentals class, <laughs> we teach them some uh, programming skills. Yep. And they even write their own program to aid in the simplicity or simplifying, if you will, right. the animation stage. That's right. A way to make animation quicker and easier for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to be in for an amazing ride. So. So that's the three projects. Yep. Um, and along with those three projects, we're going to do a lot of little mini projects to help demonstrate points, help demonstrate theory. I'm really glad you brought that up because we're, uh, what you see here, these three little projects are not the whole of everything you're going to see. In fact, uh, there's a lot of kind of, uh, what do you want to, kind of like an aside to the audience. To bring up a, a certain point, we're going to go into a little mini, I guess you're right, mini, mini projects. Mini projects. No better way to put it, really. Uh, the, well, a sentry gun shooting yeah. the bullets at the wall, leaving bullet holes and smoke and all of them. Model a little skull, you know, kind of like skull, almost yeah. like you're modeling out of clay. So, you know, all sorts of little things like that that we're going to do kind of off to the side to help drive home points, make sure that you're completely there, and make sure the learning curve stays nice and solid so That's that you right. can stay behind it the whole time. Because believe it or not, in the end, a lot of people would consider the stuff that you're looking at here uh, out of the realm of a beginner. Right. This is, this is really becoming into, uh, you know, the area of intermediate to advanced type projects. And right. again, we want to present it in such a way that it's clear, concise, to the point, um, just easy. We want it to feel like it's a beginner class, yeah. even though it's not. No. Uh, we, we're really <laughs> pushing it on. And, you know, it, when, you, when you hear the word fundamentals and if you think, well, I'm only going to be doing the beginner stuff, no, not at all. This is what we consider to be a fundamental education in Max. That's right. Fundamental in terms of the professional. You know, right. this is, these are the fundamentals that every professional needs to know to, know to get out there in the 3D industry, oh, exactly. whether it's film, whether it's game design, no matter what. We've been talking long enough. It's time to get old Bill in here, and let's get this course rolling. Let's you guys do it. ready? Let's go.